what's up guys welcome to today's video and today we are here with part two of dead island I, we got quite a few missions we're starting off chapter two let's talk to this brother real quick hey i'm dominic this piece of shit antenna is too weak to reach past the island we need a signal amplifier to cut through the static i worked on an antenna at the lighthouse nearby i'm sure they got an amplifier there we wouldn't last a minute against those things but you think you can get it for us yeah i'll go for Definitely. that all right, excellent. You bring it back as soon as you can. All right, let's go get this. Let's get this thing, bro. What is this case? Over. This baby needs some new spark plugs or she ain't going nowhere. Shame, though. It's a hell of a car. A battalion of those freaks wouldn't slow this baby down. So, if you can find me a few necessary parts from any nearby wrecked cars and we get this ride rolling, I'll let you take her out anytime you want deal deal that's a good deal sure excellent you locate those parts you know where to find me all right guys a little bit of a change of plan i'm gonna go talk to all the guys and pretty much get all the missions so we can see what missions is close by hey what's up brother hey remember me mate I'm the doctor, but I can't do much without medical supplies. The door to the infirmary is locked from the other side, and Anne's in critical condition. Swear you think you can help me break the bloody thing down? Of course. I'll try. I appreciate it. Go on, then. Break this door. Come on. Oh, it was close to the center. Oh no. Go in there with those things still bumping around. Take him out. Tread. Okay. Yep. You know you did. Try it. What are you saying, bro? Good on you, mate. Now let me get to work. Well, that was easy enough. Cindy didn't make it. She passed away during the night. Mike buried her down by the beach. So the what a bloody disaster. Nothing here at all, is there? We need to think of another way. Will you help me? I need you to locate an ambulance or one of the lifeguard vehicles. Inside, you'll find a paramedic bag with all the necessary equipment in it. I'm pretty sure I saw one by the diamond bungalows. Yes, yeah, right. nothing. Without your help, we'd all be six feet under by now. We're bloody walking corpses. All right, say nothing, bro. As soon as we're done seeing what everyone needs, we're gonna start up on that. No, no, we don't need energy drink. Kelly, please just calm down. Just calm down. Damn, must be sick. Kelly's worried about her husband, Will, but I think he's probably okay. If you happen to be nearby there, can you see if you can find him? Hopefully. Yes. His name is William. He's about six foot one, black hair, good looking. He's a concierge. He has a friend named Doyle who works in the Diamond District bungalows. I'm thinking maybe he's hiding out there. Maybe. And the way you were saying the details of this guy, it's almost like you got a thing for him, Magic. God, damn. He's like, he's a handsome guy and everything. I was like, okay. Uh, I should have gone with James. Yep, you should have gone with James, Magic. Still going on about James. Excuse what you me. I ran out in such a rush, I left my necklace behind at the hotel. Oh, my days. It's in Bungalow 6 in the silver section. My husband gave it to me. It means a lot to me. I'm offering a reward. Can you help me? How can his necklace mean a lot to you? And these times you got all of that stuff around your neck, like, bro. Oh, you're okay. Fun. Thank you. Please be careful. Alrighty, wait a sec. I think we got another guy over here. What's this guy saying? Feel like I'm back in fucking Iraq. Swear to these bodies are starting to rot. You smell that? We need to burn them before they start attracting more of these walking dead motherfuckers. Do me a favor. See if you can't get some gas from that station nearby. Oh, five star difficulty. Well, five skulls, but yeah, let's do this. Let's do it. Okay, good. See if you can find a car. That way you can move more gas. Well, yeah, we're not going to do that yet. 
we're gonna have to look for like car battery and all sorts of stuff. All right, we've got a car here. Give me. Thank you. Probably need to get some more. All right, got this one over here now. Let's get what? what? Get out of here. Let's take this one. All right, that's two. Get out of here, bro. Kebab. Now let's take this part. I think we are all good. Alright, it seems like we've got another one up here. Demon! What? Come on. That's it. Get out of here. Give me this car part. Alright, looks like now we've got all four. Well, we've got all the pieces we need. Use it. Use him, bro. To this one, bro. Kebab. You man, ready? I love slaughtering these guys. Ah, oh, bandages, all of the good stuff. I'm guessing this is the what the other guy needed. Well, that's good. At least we're getting a few of these things Maybe done. Maybe there's something useful. Oh my God. Them. Man here with the paddle, you know. Destroyed. Hey. That's it. What do you say? I can hear you, bro. Monster. Now let's go in here, see what these people are saying. Hey, where you going? No, we've got some more ID. All right, this person looks sick. Duct tape. I'm safe in here. The monsters can't get me. I'm so thirsty. Thirsty? I feel dizzy and a little nauseous. My heart is pounding, please. I haven't had anything to drink for quite a while. If you bring me some water, I'll give you whatever I have. Damn. All right. I'll do my best. Oh. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, you, you sound Thank like you, you really need it. <laughs> whatever you can find. You find anything? Oh, thank God. Thank you. <laughs> need it. All right, this is one of those continuous ones that we can just keep giving and keep getting more My experience. Are starting to cramp up. I'm Annie, and I'm looking for my teddy bear. I can't fall asleep without him, and I'm very tired. And those monsters keep knocking. Sure. Will you find my teddy bear? All right. Sure. 
The last time I saw him, he was in our bungalow. Number 15, where I live with my sister Jenny. Remember, his name is Teddy. Tell him Annie sent you, and I'm sure he'll go with you. He's a brave teddy bear. Oh my days. She's lost her mind. Brave teddy bear. What the hell? Hmm. Gotta be safe. Don't try that, bro. Trying to play dead. Alrighty, let's go make our way towards this teddy bear. Seems like it's gonna be quite a bit of a journey, but doing all of these is always a nice experience. What is down here? Let's have a quick look. What? Trying to follow me in the toilet? <laughs> no, you have no respect. Alright, let's see what you're saying. Alright, there was an ID down here. Not bad at all. Alright, let's go up here. The teddy bear should just be up in this spot up here. We say, bro. That's it. Done for. Oh. Difficult to hit that with one shot, I'm not gonna lie. Fuck. How comes you're on me, bro? <laughs> bro, this guy's taking the piss. So much blood. Joke, man. Why did you try to kill me, you joke, man? And no bloody end to it. <laughs> Shit. This guy had no respect. Blood. Blood everywhere. Yeah, I can see blood everywhere. Fucking hell. Well, she looks like she's got so PTSD. Nah, she's fucked. It looks like someone needs help down here. And I don't think I was even exploring from this side as well. Come here for a second. What are you saying, bro? Okay, listen, there's this tall hombre that owes me some money. Mucho dinero. <laughs> But he came down with whatever this infection is and paid me what he owes me in exactly his first priority. I'm thinking his money's inside his bungalow. But I need the key to get in there. It's not like the poor hijo de puta needs it anymore. Hey, listen, if you get me the key, we'll split the cash. Deal? Yes, yeah, say nothing. Okay. Good, good. Listen, he's hard to miss. Very tall. And I'm pretty sure I saw him at the bar. Get back here as soon as you have the key, all right? Okay. Oh, he's only 113 meters away as well. That's not even far. All right, let's go get this guy, the key for this guy. So we can get paid. Hey, what's up, boys? Done for. Time to die. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, now that we are here, kick these bodies just in case. Bro, imagine being on holiday, like, with this situation, bro. I would be so angry, bro. Finally on holiday, and this is what, bro? No. Oh, gotta go up in here.
Mogę. Change weapon quickly. Yeah. All right, he's dead. No, this that big guy was is a lot easier than a lot of them. I'm not gonna lie. He, they did. They just probably did that like, put him like that just so the mission's not too difficult. Oh my god. Killing spree, we need to get the level up. We need to level up as much as possible. I will soon have nothing to fight with. Oh my god. <laughs> Destroy him. Stay away from me. Oof. Yeah, just a lot of bodies everywhere. Alrighty, bro, we are back. What's up? Let's keep moving, amigos. Alright, gotta go back here yeah, for the exchange. Looks like we found the safe. Oh, this is up in the hill. That's it. Yes. <laughs> Muchas gracias, amigos. All right. Here's your cut. Don't. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Amigos, I hear there are more survivors at the lifeguard tower. Can you help me get there? If you do, I'll give you this weapon. Promise. One shot takes down a mob of those pendejos. Yeah. Let's do this. Gracias. We better go, huh? Yeah, definitely. All right, let me follow this guy. Already, no matter what, we gotta keep him safe. Just keep it going nice and smooth. <laughs> Let's get this blade out. <laughs> Quick thing, let's do this. Make sure you stay alive, bro. do this keep it moving and thank you very much for the help bro I really appreciate it. take it easy That's it. 
Looks like we are close. But this guy, he is taking he is time, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. He's proper like taking like he might as well be like super checking out the sites, taking pictures wherever we're at. But yeah, I think it's just over here. Perfect. Mm, yeah, we might as well take this for now. Uh -huh, we did it. Gracias. Hey, I always remember my amigos. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. Whoa, great job. Nice. Now just give me a sec and I'll get this bitch running. <laughs> That's good. Oh yeah, this guy's too. What are you saying, bro? You just saved a lot of lives, mate. You may have even saved Anne's. Thank you. Needed. All right, let's go all the way up here. See what's going on. Hey, you, Looney. What are you oh, saying? I bro? just need a drink to get myself even. Good. I'll wait here if you don't mind. I'm not really up to moving around. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> You've been a bad boy. Say thank you to the nice people. Mm hmm. Nuts and bolts mod. Yeah, we need to get quite a lot of mods. All right, we're at a good spot over here. Whoa. Help, Help me, please. What was you man up to? Please. I need your help. Just back up this car quickly. Please. My husband. He's bleeding. Can you help us? All right, let's see what this guy's saying. Name's Roger, brothers. And this is my wife, Jess. We, we were driving like a bat out of hell when I saw that broke down car. Part of me said, forget about it. But I couldn't. I couldn't do that and live with myself. So we stopped to see if we could help. The driver must have been in, in, in shock or something because he threw himself at us like a crazy guy. I had to, uh, had to kill him. But this was self-defense. I was protecting myself. <laughs> you got to believe me. <sighs> but you know what? You took a bite out of me, man. <laughs> Shit. I think I got whatever he had. Or rabies. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> Who the hell knows? It's not good, bro. But can you get Jess out of here? If I start to lose it, I, I don't want to bloody hurt her. Of course. All right. Hey, man. Thanks. Should take her to the lighthouse. My brother James should be there. He'll take her in. Now take those bandages, you're not gonna be needing them. Please get in the car. Thank God. That's it, let's do this. to the lighthouse. I think we got a one. Hey, up here. Hey, what's up, guys? There are people living in the lighthouse? Of course. Thank you. Enter. Can you check on my husband? Yeah, your husband probably did. Go inside. Talk to James. I'm saying that, and he's super excited. I can't believe you're alive. When we left Cinemoy, you looked like 
Jesus. Anyway, you better go see the James. I'm sure I'll be surprised as hell to see you're still alive and kicking. Follow me, I'll take you to James. I'm sure he'll be glad to see you're still alive. Where the hell did they put that? James will probably want to talk to you first. Saying no, and I can't wait to see what James is saying. And the guy earlier was mentioning, oh, I wish I went with James. <laughs> hurt to look. Talk to him. James is at the top of the lighthouse. Go see him. Holy shit, you're alive? Of course, bro. What do you think this is? All right, let's talk to this guy. I'm James. You don't know me, but I shall sure remember you. Me and Cinnamoy had a slight difference of opinion. He wanted to stay put and wait for help. I wanted to get the hell out of there. So I got the hell out. Now, we're working on setting up the lighthouse to signal for assistance. We sure could use your help. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Now, if you want to get off this island with the rest of us, go talk to my people. See what you can do to help, okay? Definitely. Stuck up some more stuff to do. Hey, unlike uh, Cinemoy and his crew, we're not content to sit in our butts and hope that uh, help's on its way. We're more proactive, you know? Further up the coast, there's a couple shipwrecks. The result of that monsoon that came through. I'm thinking they might have supplies, including signal flares. When help finally does get here, like maybe the military, we need a way to let them know where we are. You interested in a little salvage work? Yeah. All right. Good. And when the help finally does get here, and we get their attention, I guarantee a first spot on the chopper. No, thank you very much. That would be super handy. Check this recording. I'm approaching the location where I'm to meet my informant. I must say, everything seems oddly quiet and deserted here. I'm a little concerned that my informant has been exposed. <sighs> I hope he's all right. The door appears to be ajar. Mr. Anomo? Hello? Anyone here? Mad recording. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. There's, uh, there's blood everywhere. I don't see a body, though. Mr. Anomo? Oh, caught slipping. What the hell? Jesus Christ! Oh, oh my God! Oh my god, whoever that was, I think I just killed her. Damn. Bashed her head in with a fucking lamp. Had to. She was out of her mind. She tried to bite me for Christ's sake. She must have been 70 years old. Mud. Someone else is back there. I gotta. Well, that was a mad recording. Horrifying. Her name's Linda. She got beat up pretty bad out there. I don't even know how she managed to make it here. Probably made it on sheer adrenaline. She needs painkillers and bandages. Can you see if you can find some? Of course. Sure. Thank you. There's a racked ambulance on the road to the bungalows and medical supplies in the lifeguard tower. I'm pretty sure you can find painkillers and bandages either place. Maybe there's a rescue car on the beach. Try to worry, okay? She's really suffering. No worries. Got all of that. That is exactly what I needed. Thank you. You just saved this girl's life. Anytime. I can't get through. I was in contact with the pilots of that plane that went down. It was full of passengers, and they said they were making an emergency landing near the edge of the jungle. I lost contact with them after that, but if they landed that plane safely, maybe we can use it to get the hell off this island. Yeah, we might need to check that out. Let's do it. Hey, that plane might be our ticket out of here.
Steven is looking for me? Oh, I wish nope. he had come with us. I'm worried about him. Could you... Could you please tell him that, if you see him? That I miss him and... And I wish he were here with me right now. No problem. All right, let's see what's going on around here. Hey. Hey, hey, you. Go over to the door. Uh, give me a sec to open it. What's this guy say? Come on, quick. What are you saying, bro? What, you want gas? Uh, sorry, the pumps ain't working. Power's out and the generator's in the warehouse next door. Unfortunately, the front entrance is blocked. You know, maybe there's another way in. They try the roof. That might work. Head out the back so they don't see you. And take some canisters with. Yo, know, once you get in, turn on the power and refuel those canisters. Now that we're here, we're not moving anywhere. It's too friggin' dangerous out there. Alrighty. you okay let's go to the roof oh, it's gonna be a tricky one Get on. Man, she's there, like, <laughs> just chilling. Oh, yeah, I have to go here and turn this on. Kill these guys. Finally, <laughs> right, we definitely need to get some banging weapons and upgrade them. Come on, quickly, just. Thought you was hot. All right. 
now let's do this drive this back Just up here. No, the driving is six still. Oh, yeah, we got we got a bit too excited there. Oh, like well, that's good. Got a few rides around. Hurry it up. These fuckers are starting. There it is, bro. Hey, thank you. This should do it. By the way, I'm Mike. I got the <laughs> bodies piled up outside. Guess we better do this. Trust me. Had to burn them all now. That was a good, uh, a good amount of experience as well. Ashes to ashes. What are you saying, Mike? Thank you. Some fucking vacation, huh? I can help you out though. You need a weapon. I'm your guy. Bricks and baseball bats can only take you so far. Torch them. They burn real easy. Get yourselves a couple of Molotov cocktails, and you can burn up a whole mob of those motherfuckers. You bring me a couple, and I can make you a few cocktails. If you catch my drift. Definitely. Right. Good. I'm gonna need some empty whiskey bottles, vodka, whatever. There should be some around here. So you wanna burn those bastards or what? No, oh, thanks for the offer. You found her? Yeah. They're of course. still here. Fuck it then, I'm out of here. <laughs> this guy. Yes. This is it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Here's the reward I promised. Thank you. Enter. Uh, thank you. I heard this scourge came from outer space. That's it. Burn. Burn. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, Tim. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Who the hell are you, bro? So you had to kill your guy, huh? Oh my days, bro. You weren't you. I didn't know what else to do. Oh, this is not a good situation. Anything will help. Trust. <laughs> Think you're sick, huh? Kebab now. Yeah, we definitely need to get some health up there. Alright, let's see what's going on up in there. Oh shit, it's not looking good. <laughs> Bruh, bro. You scared the living hell out of me. Please. You gotta take this insulin to my brother, Danny. He needs it. <laughs> He's in bungalow 14. Please. Yep, let's do I'll this. I'll see what I can do. Good. 
Look, you better go. He's running out of time. Damn, bro. Hey, what's up, bro? You find my insulin? Hello? If anyone can hear me, I'm trapped in a lifeguard booth by the beach. I'm surrounded by the infected and they're clawing to get in. I need help. If someone can hear me, hurry. Oh, don't worry. You'll get some help. You find my insulin? Wait. You're not my brother? Nope. He must have sent you, right? Thank Unfortunately. You. I'll just wait until this kicks in. Wait until Luke gets here. Talk to me! Do something! Let me know you understand me! That was it! Whoa. Yeah, we need to save this guy. Alright, now that we killed all of them, let's see what this guy is. What do you say? What the hell is happening here? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with them? <laughs> I was staying in the diamond bungalows and I made a run for it. I didn't get too damn far as, as you can see. Here, take this key. If you have the guts to go to my bungalow, everything there is yours for the taking. <laughs> you earned it. Oh, thank you. There may be some other survivors who need your help back there. Help them. Don't help them. Not my concern. Right now, I just need to get the hell off this island. Say nothing. We followed James so to this lighthouse so we could send out an SOS signal using the lamp. But there's something wrong with the power. Marcus went to check the two transformers power in the lighthouse, but he's been gone for hours. Someone needs to see what's happened to him and try to get the power back on. Those things can't do to you what they can do to us. Maybe you can help us. Of course, bro. Okay. All right. Good. The Transformers are in the northern part of the Gold Bungalow area. If you can get the power back on, I'll let you into the storage shed. I'm Darwin, by the way. Hey, what's up, bro? All right, yeah. Let's get to this place quickly. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, no, you're angry, isn't it? Alright, it should be just up here, it should be light work, hopefully. Thank you. Hey! Name's Marcus. I was fixing this piece of shit when these things came out of nowhere. See if you can get that other transformer back online while I finish fixing this one. Go! That's it. One hit wonder. Turn all of these on. Oh, shit. Let's get back to this guy. All right, finally. What are you saying, bro? All right, everything works. Go tell Darwin the good news. I'll stay here just in case the fuses blow when you start pulling power for the lighthouse. This is for you. Thanks for the help. This the guy. world's gone fucking mad. <laughs> All righty, let's go to this guy and see what he's saying. Okay. If Marcus said it's going to work, let's give it a shot and turn it on. I just hope it doesn't bring down the electrical grid. Hopefully.
Looks like it worked. Come on. Needed. I'll open the storage shed for you. Thank God for that. I'm stronger. Alrighty, now that we're done with this, I want to say thank you to all of you legends for dropping by, showing support in any and every way. And yes, you absolute legends. I'm going to be catching you all on the next one, guys. Alright, bye.